Hi, I'm Stuart J. Perlman, and I want to welcome you to Stuart J.'s Lens, the tales of small business in McKinney. I hope you enjoy today's tale. It comes straight from small business in McKinney. I'm originally from Lakewood, Colorado. Uh, pretty much grew up there, went to high school, and uh, did my college years down at Arizona State, and then moved back to Colorado right after my graduation there, uh, and started uh, in the um, textile uh, ladies sportswear wholesale a store in Dallas, Texas, which we sold all the licensed apparel, authentic Rangers, Cowboys, uh, all the pro sports gear in college. That sort of derived uh, and lasted for about 15 years, and then we um, decided to move on to some other things, which is the embroidery and promotional products business, which was really kind of a spin-off from uh, the retail end of licensing and decorating authentic types. I have a business uh, business uh, ad business administration uh, degree from Arizona State, and uh, went there on a gymnastics scholarship. Gymnastics. Gymnastics, and uh, did you do the pummel horse? We did the what would be called pronounced pummel horse, but yeah, I was an all-arounder, and actually, I uh, took uh, the state championship in Colorado in 1960. That's a great story. That is a great story, and I look back at it every day and just thank my you stars. Still have that, the tights? Uh, I still have the tights. They're a little bit yellowed, but not. <laughs> we're gonna take that out. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> That's a little known fact to people when they look at me, they can't tell that I used to do an iron cross on the ring, so. <laughs> Were you like an all-around guy? I was an all-around, I did every event. Yep. Ever try for the Olympics? Uh, I actually competed in Junior yes. Olympics. Gymnastics was such an individual sport. So I also wrestled, and uh, both of those sports were such an individual sport that in business, it helped me learn how to be a, a business owner and how to really um, attack the problems by myself without having to go to a superior and just make those decisions. But it was, a, it was a great ride and it really taught me a lot about doing business uh, uh, in the competitive positioning of uh, how you do business and uh, how, you, how you really develop your customer relationships. And, uh, it gave me the ability to create and this is kind of what led me into this industry is the design and create. Uh, that's really what turns me on because when I get a logo from somebody and create an embroidery file and see the, the look on their face the first time they see it, it just, it's all the satisfaction first I need. in the business, it was 100% embroidery. And uh, we learned the promotional products along with that in knowing that that is another, just another aspect of, of marketing, marketing yourself and branding. So those items really were uh, kind of a hand in hand, uh, hand in hand type of lead into new new avenues for us to grow. As we moved to McKinney, uh, we saw a need for uh, a lot of these new products because there were so many new startup businesses in McKinney and Collin County. What's the strangest request you've ever gotten? What are we rated? Whatever you want. <laughs> I think we, uh, one, one time we had a request to do embroidery on some uh, a ladies thong in putting the uh, Razorback in it. probably the only area that you can use an Arkansas Razorback, yep. I, think, I don't think there's any surprises in really the clientele that we have. You know, we do everything from the city of McKinney to the Chamber of Commerce and also small We um, We developed the, uh, a design for the Rachel's Challenge t-shirt. We've been doing that for about three years for the school district and uh, that's been a very rewarding um, I've actually created a brand new design for the uh, McKinney ISD. And we focus primarily on medium, small size uh, businesses because we found that those people are probably the most sustainable because it's them working for themselves. And so it's whatever they do, they're watching their pennies and their dollars. And we try to set up a marketing plan with these products to make sure that they're not overextending themselves. Hey, I've been there, done it. Let me help you with what you're doing. You're a new business or you're an existing business if you're struggling. Let me share some of my experiences with you because I've been there up and down and uh, and we weathered the, the storm for 
for many, six, over 16 plus years in this business. We care about your business one stitch at a time. That's the one. Do that to the camera whenever you're ready. That's excellent. If you think you have a story to tell, send me an email. But I have to tell you up front, it better be good.